Superstorm Sandy is another reminder that disaster can strike in unexpected ways. And when the worst does happen, first responders often put themselves in harm's way to save others. Looks like Chris's car is totally underwater down there. Now scientists at MIT are working on technology that could reduce the risk of harm to those emergency workers. It's all about advanced mapping of crisis scenes. Professor Seth Teller wears a device that generates a map as he walks. The sensor rig and the algorithms we've developed would, would map the site automatically. The explorer could add verbal comments or uh, textual information to the map as it was being created. And that map could be automatically shared with the other team members over a wireless link. Teller and his team were motivated by the destruction wrought by Hurricane Irene as it moved through New England last year. Current procedures call for an emergency worker to scope out a disaster scene, then make a map from memory. The developers of the mapping technology say it would create much more accurate maps and help other emergency workers avoid hazards. And being able to send real-time information in the form of video or pictures and locations tied to those video and pictures uh, would really help our assessment of where we need to send resources to assist the people impacted. The Red Cross has developed its own disaster tech, a smartphone app that includes basic first aid and survival techniques. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.